Hey guys, Shelly and Sean here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please take the time to hit the subscribe button down below. It means the world to me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Um, to start off this video, please enter my giveaway. Uh, I will link the video in one of the descriptions up above. And I will put the link to the raffle copter down below. I'm giving away a 2017 Michael Kors clutch that can transform into a crossbody. It's raining, so if you hear some sounds, that's what it is. Also, my hair is second day hair. I slept on it last night, so it's kind of doing what it's what it wants to, and that's fine with me. If it's not fine with you, sis, that sucks, all right? Deal with that yourself. But I have two bags here of items I purchased on Easter Sunday. My local thrift store was having um, half off day. Was that lightning? Girl. I had a peppermint and I can feel it like stuck in my shit but I uh, it was half off day orange tags were a dollar I got lots of stuff I didn't spend a lot I spent $54 that's including everything I'm about to show you the three dresses I bought the two dresses I bought my sister and the three pairs of shorts and tank top I bought my boyfriend so I mean that alone easily worth $54 plus all this shit I'm about to show you so I'm going to turn off my camera and delete some footage because it says I have four minutes left and then we will hop into this little haul video. Also I got this dress from this haul. I really love this dress. It was $4. It's a Torb 1X. It is striped. I love stripes. Stripes are super trendy. They say big girls shouldn't wear stripes. Girl I do not care if it makes me look whiter. Alright stripes are popping and it's so cute. It's like a magenta pinky purple color, a navy blue, a black, a white, and then a blush pink. Uh, there is a seam underneath the bust and it kind of billows out. There's kind of a semi pleat right underneath the seam and then the back there is a triangle cut out and it's just super cute. It was four bucks. Can't beat that. Towards expensive. I'll take four dollars any day. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. I don't want it to be too long. So I guess first I'll show you the other two items that I bought for myself. Uh, the stuff I got for my boyfriend is uh, in our clean clothes and my sister obviously has her dresses so I picked up this dress because it was my size and it was two dollars it is Charlotte Russe and it is just a floral little number I'm not gonna try it on just because I don't feel like it <laughs> and I'm not too fond of how I look in it but it's just it has a little semi v-neck just a little floral number the underneath has this black tool layer and it's actually ripped in one spot, so I tried it on at the thrift store over my clothes because I didn't want to buy it. And then it not fit, and then I couldn't sell it because it was damaged. But I love that. And then I got this, hoping that I fit it. It is an 18, which is, well, I'm a true 18, a true 1X. And it is a Ralph Lauren dress. I didn't try it on there just because I knew if it didn't fit me, I could resell it. It's Ralph Lauren. It's a dark floral. It's plus size. I can easily get rid of this. It does have a shoulder pad that I'm going to cut out, but it has a little wrap front. It has a pretty good seam right underneath the bust. It kind of has a top where you have to pick up your boobs and put them in the spot. And then it goes down. It's like a grown and sexy dress. This is a dinner date dress. And then it crosses over here. It's nothing major. I like it because there's ruching on the side, which kind of hides my stomach a little bit, you know. Gonna cut out the shoulder pads, but it's just a really cute dark floral dress. Good for dinner dates. It was five bucks. You can't beat it. And it's Ralph Lauren. All right, so getting into the items that I purchased to resell. The first item, I was super happy to see. A lot of people don't pick up LuLaRoe. I still do, especially when it's new with tags. I have yet to sell any of my LuLaRoe items. I have four 2X classic tees that have been in my closet maybe around a month. Um somebody make me an offer girl I'm ready to move them I'm not the storage business sis but this is a LuLaRoe Joy it is an extra small it's blue and black and I think these go for like 55 65 brand new since it is new with tags I am probably going to list it um, maybe $10 under retail 
and just see how it does. I'm hoping that honestly this by itself, um, maybe along with another item pays for my whole trip. So then the rest truly is profit. But there's there's no flaws, you know, it's just an extra small LuLaRoe Joy. It's really cute. And honestly, if you're a small or a medium, you could get away with wearing this just because it's like a lightweight cardigan, you know. It's a small, or it's an extra small, but a lot of people could wear this easily. The next item I got, I took a risk on. I got it because it was so cheap. It is a BC BG Max Azria uh, Zero Extra Small dress. It's like a bandage dress. It is striped. This little black part is a mesh, but you can't see through it or anything. It's just a nice added detail. And it's just a little bandage dress. I could see this as a club dress, a going out dress. You know what? Actually, you can see through the mesh. You can see through it, but, like, not enough to see, like, a nipple or anything. But it's super cute. It has, um, like, the stickiness at the top so it doesn't roll down. Ooh. It looks like maybe it came with straps at one point in time, but girl, it ain't got straps no more, all right? This is a sleeveless bandage dress, and it's going to get marketed as such. Uh, I will probably list this at... 30 bucks. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. BCBG is a great brand. They have a really high retail rate. I'm not sure about resale, but we'll see how it does. The next item is from Torrid. A lot of people are starting to pick up more Torrid just because plus size sells, all right? Plus size definitely sells. It is a super cute color, blush pink. Everybody loves blush pink. It has a ruffle front, v-neck, and it's a 4X, which is a great size because big girls want to look cute too. This one was a 1X. This one has a blackout tag. So does this one. If you can see that, somebody took a marker and crossed it out. Typically, uh... You can price them lower because of that, because usually blackout labels are from thrift stores. My thrift store doesn't black out the labels, so somebody donated this with a blackout label. They're from thrift stores. Um, Gabriel Brothers sometimes blacks out their labels. I've seen certain TJ Maxx's black out their labels or cut the tags. Just, I, I don't know why they do it. It's kind of petty, but it's just a blush pink, pretty basic dress. Really cute. It's a 4X. It's a 4. And I don't know what year this is. Torrid does have cut dates, which is great. I didn't even check because I was like, it's a 4X. Oh, but it's uh, September 2nd, 2016. So this isn't too far back at all. I'll probably list this at 30 bucks just because I feel like that's pretty standard for a dress. Somebody offers me lower. It's whatever. I list them high just because... I'm taking into account that somebody is going to offer me lower because I put make me an offer, it's gonna happen, and because low ballers exist. And if I listed at 30 and you offer me 20, that's not really a low ball, that's kind of what I was hoping to sell it for. <laughs> the next dress, I feel like this might pay for my whole haul because this is super cute. I was looking at solds on eBay and this same dress sold for 70 bucks. I had never heard of the brand, but um, I guess they're like a LA boutique or something like that. It is Lovers and Friends, and the tag just kind of looked expensive. It looks older whenever you see like a tag that is, if it will focus, a tag that is like this gray and it's thicker. That's typically an older tag. This reminds me of an older Chico's tags. Uh, the older Worthington tags are gray, silver, and white. And you can just tell a new tag. Like the newer Worthington tag is a square. It's black and gold. It looks nice and crisp. And you can just, I mean, you can tell when a tag is old or not. But it is an extra small, like a zero, double zero. It is this blue dress. It has a lace detail all over it. I'm not sure what the difference between lace and eyelid is. Maybe I'll put it on the screen. But it is this cute powder baby blue. It is a zero. It's just super cute. It has a full zip down the back and it is an exposed zipper. And there's absolutely no flaws. And this same dress sold for 70 on eBay. So that's probably what I'm going to list it for on my Poshmark closet. If it sells at 70, it'll pay for my whole trip and I'll make profit on this. So that is great. I, I live for that dress. Okay, I live, breathe. Um, I do 
everything in my day-to-day -day life for that dress because it's so damn beautiful that is all the clothing items i got the first section i go to when i get when i get to the thrift store is shoes because shoes are very easy to check for flaws super easy to check for flaws with shoes they're super easy to list and they're usually cheaper like typically they're usually cheaper than clothing items and I feel like I sell shoes way faster than I sell clothes. Last month alone, I think I sold maybe like six or seven pairs of shoes. They were flying out the door, hunty. But I have a big ass bag of shoes. And hopefully these shoes are all profit if that LuLaRoe and the Lovers and Friends dress sells. So we're just going to go through all of them. There are some brands that aren't super great in here, but for the price, I'm willing to take the risk. Uh, point and blank being I got these little Target uh, what are they called? Flats? They're the Dior say style because they have this gap right here and they're just some Target like maroony purple flats nothing major. They're a size 7 and they are um, July 2017 so not too far back at all it's 2018 so within the last year these were made they're Massimo Supply Co. These probably retail for probably, I would say, $25 at Target. I'm probably going to list these at $15. I recently, recently, I recently bought a pair of Dulce Vita slip-on sneakers on clearance from Target. And I tried them on without socks because I had on sandals that day. And when I came home, put socks on, went to wear them one day, they didn't fit because my feet are very wide. And then on top of that, my left foot is bigger than my right foot. So I always try, from now on, shoes on with socks on my left foot. Because that's just the true determining factor. And I bought those for 10 bucks on clearance. I said, screw it. I'm going to list them for higher than 10 just because let's see how they move. They were originally 30 And I sold them and made like a $2 profit on them and wasn't really trying to. So Target for the right price, you can definitely make a profit. It would have been, sorry, I seen a mouse the other day. I know y'all probably tired of hearing me say it in videos. I'm on edge. But Target for the right price, you can definitely flip their velvet, their flats, their D Dior Say silhouette. Um, they'll sell eventually. I don't know how soon, but got these. They're a little cute number. I guess I'll go over what I look for when I'm buying shoes, too. Um, the first thing I always look for is this front part. Is it scuffed, okay? Nobody wants to buy a scuffed shoe. That is the quickest thing you can pick up. Look at the front. Is it scuffed? Is anything falling apart? It is. Put them back. Um, a next thing I do is I pull on these parts of the heel because these do come loose. Expensive shoes come with extras. Uh, I believe like Louboutins come with extra ones. Probably like Giuseppe, Zanatti's, all those. But like these are Life Stride. I think these are sold at Payless for like 30 bucks. These all come with extras. So I always pull to make sure that this isn't loose. I always check the heels and make sure there's no dings, scratches, nothing like that. And then you want to tr check the inside of the shoe. Nobody wants a dirty ass shoe. And I don't want to go home and have to clean a dirty ass shoe. So I don't buy dirty ass shoes. So I check the inside where your ankle rubs all up against here. You'd be surprised how much you sweat and everything else that happens throughout the day. This, this part, it gets dirty pretty quick. So I check that. I check the inside of the toe to make sure there's no nasty toe marks. None of that. And then I check to make sure there's no inserts because... I don't want to peel off a nasty insert and inserts leave a lot of like residual residue and like I said I buy things that I don't have to clean I don't want to have to take it home and work on it it shouldn't be a project so these pass every inspection they're great shoes they're a navy blue they are a size six and a half and yeah they're just little I mean basic navy blue heels They'll sell eventually because they're a good career shoe, but I didn't spend a lot, so I'm not really pressed about them. These I also got, they are Nicole, and I'm assuming this is Nicole by Nicole Miller. I'm hoping so. They have a snakeskin chunky block heel with this strap over, like this is super trendy right now, having this big strap. And they have like a toe strap, super cute. Uh, this bed is kind of woven. I kind of think these might be older just because of the way this toe bed is shaped it's more square than like an almond but regardless they're super cute i think they'll do well for summer 
they don't have any flaws and they're a size 7 and shoes are also good because they typically have the style name in them these are called Briar, B-R-I-A-R, so I can look on like eBay and Google, I can find stock images, I can see what people have sold these for in the past, but uh, yeah, they're really cute, depending on like the Target ones, I'll probably list these at 10-15, these ones, because I know these are like I think 30-35 brand new Life Stride, I'm pretty sure they're sold at like Famous Footwear, Payless, uh, I'll probably list these for like 20-25. These ones are cute, and summer's coming up, and they're snakeskin. Somebody's going to love this detail, so I might list these a little bit higher. Um, I'll probably start at 25 depending on how comps look. If, you know, if they're brand new, 15 bucks somewhere, I'm, I'm probably going to list them lower. I also got these green flats. Um, they are by Land's End, which is nothing special. Land's End is decently affordable, but I didn't pay a lot for them. There's no flaws in them, and they are a size 8. I like to pick up bigger sizes. I have lots of 6, 6.5, 7s, but the bigger sizes, I definitely feel move a whole lot faster. And they're just these green, quilted, little flats. Somebody will get lots of use. Here goes another pair of affordable heels. These are Comfort Plus by Predictions. I'm pretty sure predictions it's got to be either Kmart or Payless but they're affordable shoes to begin with so they'll be listed lower but they're just this teal like greeny blue high heel and they're super cute I mean 15 20 bucks easily I picked up these because I'm pretty sure they're new they still have like a size dot in them and I um recognize this brand from my job we got a pair of unisa high heels and they got priced at 20 which is on like the higher end of our high heels so i was like all right you know these look damn near brand new they just need wiped a little bit in the front but they're blue like a faux suede flat they have lace up and they have this little cutout detail and really the only flaw is they need wiped with like a baby wipe or something up here but they're cute little flats and they are a size 8 because that's what the size dot says and they still have a sticker on the back that says size 8 so yeah these will do well my last two pairs of shoes are like the real like money makers in the shoe category uh well i'm hoping will be the money makers so i had seen these a couple weeks ago at this thrift store but they wanted 12 bucks for them and i was like i'm not paying 12 dollars for a pair of shoes to flip because that's just such a high that's a high amount, all right? So, it was half all day. I paid six for these. No scuffs, perfect condition. They were in perfect condition when I last seen them. And they're this pair of Chico's blue, like, crocodile embossed type shoe. These are probably leather, knowing, yeah, leather upper rubber sole. And they're six and a half. Chico's is pretty expensive. They have a demographic that's targeted to a more mature, older crowd, but they sell necklaces brand new for 40 45 bucks. So I can only imagine what their shoes go for brand new. I would say easily upwards of $80. So I figured I would be safe picking up these, plus they're super cute. So the last pair of shoes I got are Tahari. I believe these are sold at Macy's. And they had originally priced them higher and crossed them out, probably because nobody wanted to pay that super high price they had them at. Um, they're, they have a suede. There's like different blocks. Um, they have suede, and then they have this detailing, and then they have just the plain. And they're just, these are all pretty much good classic career shoes that I picked up. They are a 9, which is the biggest shoe I have. And 9 is the average size for American women in shoes. So I believe these will do super great. I think I could list these for like 20 bucks and have them go immediately. But I want a little bit more bang for my buck. I did pay up for these bad boys. So I'm probably going to list them a little bit higher. I might invest in a suede brush because... If I had one, this suede would look brand new. I don't have one, so I'll just disclose that the suede is a little bit worn. But I'm pretty sure somebody would still love these just because they can easily, you know, handle that themselves. Alright, and that is all I got for my thrift store. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for the love on my What Sold on Poshmark in March video. It's not even that, like... It's gotten a lot of comments or anything like like that, but a lot of people have watched it, and I really appreciate that. I hope that I'm helping a reseller out there or somebody who's just curious about reselling. I think one of my long-term goals is 
I do want to go to law school eventually, but I don't really have time to study for the LSAT, which is like one of the biggest parts of like admittance and the whole admittance process is that I need to be studying for this like three hour long test and I really don't have time for it. So I'm starting to really build up my Poshmark closet because I think it would be great if I could potentially be a full time reseller by, you know, the end of the summer or the end of the year. Um, hopefully I have time to like study for the LSAT. It's just, it's really time consuming and I just, I don't have the time for it. I really don't. But, uh, yeah, I just want a little tangent. I hope you guys like this video. It looks like it's getting long. Hopefully I can cut out a lot because I, I'm not too fond of super long videos. But yeah, let me, if you have any video suggestions, comments, concerns, any of that, drop them down below. And I do have a reseller Instagram. It is at Sean's underscore wardrobe. Uh, if you want to sign up for Poshmark, please use my referral code, which is Dulce E Perfecta, D U L C E Y P E R F E C T A. That gets me $5 when you make a purchase, and I believe you get $5 for signing up. Something like that. I'll leave it all down below. And that is enough chit chat from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and enter my giveaway and i'll see you in my next one bye